It's RK101, the 2019 edition. My name is Shalon, and today we're going to talk about one part about the 5.3 patch. We're going to talk about the Noyet Challenge. That's actually what you see going on in the background right now. This is from one of my previous runs. And I know a lot of people have been asking me specifically, am I going to do a guide on how to beat every single boss and how to like blitz through the dungeon? Well, I probably will at some point do a guide for the individual bosses. The truth of the matter is, this is the first time we've had content that requires a little bit of effort, a little bit of energy, and it's actually fun. We haven't had to do things with PvE content like apply healing debuffs, purge, or leech in a very long time. So I'm not going to write an easy how-to guide. Now I will do that in a little bit when people have had their chance to get through it and then they start to struggle. Or new people who are a lower gear score will write the guide to help lower gear score people get through it. But what I am going to say is if you want to get through it right now, there's things that you can do for yourself or get your strength to the faction buff. That way you're doing more PvE damage, you're receiving less PvE damage. Make sure that you are 100% absolutely using assorted ribs. Uh, there is absolutely no reason why not to. It's PvE skill damage increase, PvE damage reduction. If you're lucky enough to still have Jube Jube Sparkling Wine or Jube Jube Juice, make sure you're using those as well. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier. Now, like I said, this isn't a guide to the dungeon itself. Uh, this is going to be more of a guide to the rewards and to tell you why you want to do it. Uh, first and foremost, I really recommend that you head over to omnom.gg. Mark has done a great job, as you can see, with the full chart and all the details. I'm not going to re uh, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, so he's already got it done. Go to his site and uh, read everything that he's put together. Uh, but I will say that the uh, reason why the rewards are so good is that you're going to have accessories that have one stat in two effects rather than Aranor accessories which have two stats in one effect. So for example, uh, I will eventually replace uh, my Wave Ring with my Noyet Ring. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I want to do that? Well, as you can see on my Noyet Ring, it's in progress. It has Spirit 23. It, will, it already has as much Spirit as my Delphinet has Intelligence. I'm a healer, Spirit is more direct for me. But the good part is, is that I can come in here, I can go to replace effects, and I'll show you all of them in a second, but I will eventually be able to get cast time of 1.6% as it is right now. Well, what I can do is I can pick up the ring and I can get the stats as Mark has compiled. You can see those here. So I would much rather have a, uh, I would much rather have a ring that has spirit on it right? A ring that has spirit on it as a healer. And although I am going to lose just a little bit of cast time when I have the ring maxed, the truth of the matter is, is I'm going to pick up a second stat on top of, uh, on top of what I already have. So it's like having my Delphin Ed wavering and a little bit more. The same thing is going to be the case for earrings. Uh, a lot of people have been saying, well, why would you ever want to use the earring when the base stat on it is PvE damage reduction? Come over here and we see the base stat on the Noya earrings is going to be PvE received damage uh, 2, 3, or 4%. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that you can also get received damage on the earring as well as one of the stats. Now you'll see that damage received is 2.1%. And what I currently have is an Ioned Wave earring that's gonna give me 2.6%. But again, I'm gonna be able to get spirit on it, so I'm gonna be able to get the stat that I want. I'm gonna lose about a half a percent of received damage reduction, but I'm gonna get a second full stat. So maybe I want received healing, Maybe you are a tank, you want, uh, you know, maybe you want parry rate or shield block rate. Some people are going to want defense. Personally, I'm going to be more than happy to sacrifice half of a percentage of received damage reduction in order to pick up 2.1% of received healing. I think that's a great trade-off. Here's the other part about that. Why it's so good is because these are accessories that you're going to get through grinding the dungeon versus having to invest gold. 
Now, one big piece of confusion that people have had is they've said, well, I've gone into the dungeon, I, I've come in here, and I've done the dungeon, and I, I haven't gotten the earring, I haven't gotten the uh, ring, I, I don't understand. But what a lot of people don't understand is that it's not a 100% guarantee to get the ring or the earring. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get in there, and you have to clear a certain number of waves. When you finish, when the time is up and you leave, then you're going to get a box. Now inside that box, if you clear 29 or less waves, then your box is going to have reinforcement agents, which are infusions for dungeon gear. And it may or may not have a ring or earring, and it may or may not have an awakening scroll. Awakening scrolls are going to be just like the Hiram version. It works exactly the same. It's a 30% base chance going from tier 1 to tier 2. I don't know the chance it's going from tier 2 to tier 3. If you clear 30 or more waves, then you are guaranteed a ring or an earring. So for those of you that are saying, well, I can only clear 15 waves, I can only clear 20 waves, you're going to have to work on your gear a little bit until you can clear more. Once you get to that 30 wave clear, you're going to get your 17 uh, reinforcement agents and a guaranteed ring or earring. You really want to try to push and clear 35 waves. You'll see at 35 waves, it's 26 reinforcement agents. That is a lot, and that will really help to get the job done. One more thing I want to show before we close it up today. When you come in here to gear upgrades and replace effects, a lot of people haven't noticed this yet, this change attempts. You are going to get change attempts every time you upgrade the gear. As it was in the past, if you, uh, if you attempted to go from, say, uh, heroic to unique, you would have that opportunity and only that opportunity to replace a stat down here with the replace button. The way it works now is you will store change attempts as you put infusions or stones or whatever item you're working on, you will store change attempts. When you decide to use them, you do not have to have a stone in here. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of this. I don't have, uh, actually I can, I, I can actually can show you. If I come up here and I throw in my Hiram piece, I have no stone up here. I'm not about to level it. I have one change attempt. I could in fact click this and try to replace one of these stats so it's like having a serendipity stone preloaded into the item but you don't you know you don't have to include anything you can just come in here to replace effects as long as you have change attempts on it this is kind of nice because as you're leveling up something specifically the noyat rings you you don't have a stat if you if you start off with spirit like i did you don't have anything to roll off those previous opportunities those would have been lost now we get to store those until we have that second stat or third stat and they're actually useful and that is it for today guys i wanted to specifically talk about the uh Noyet challenge i wanted to talk about the accessories i wanted to drive you over to omnom because mark did a hell of a job getting all those stats together uh so you really know why you want to be in there doing that particular dungeon and of course like i said it's free well it's not free free it's you still have to pay the labor you have to pay the gold for the infusions but you're not there now struggling to come up with seven to ten thousand gold for each accessory that you need uh that's it for today i'm going to talk about the fall of hiram city and red dragon keep in a couple of upcoming videos i just wanted to keep this one short and very on point you guys take care hey where are you going you're not done yet see these videos this video's up here to watch. You gotta go over here. Hit the chibi. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the webpage. And I'll see you guys on Twitch.